David, the Pirates competed in the Women's uh, Fall Classic a couple of weekends ago down in Salem, Oregon. Whitworth finished in second place, but it was quite a battle to get that runner-up finish. Uh, take us back through the tournament and you, from what you saw as, as the coach out there. Yeah, well, I mean, we accomplished our goal of getting second place, so, you know, that's important. Um, our first round, very positive. We shot 320. Uh, you know, in the interview, pre our previous interview, I told you I'd be thrilled if we shot low 320s, high 3-teens, and we just flat out did that the first day at a strong golf course. So, uh, very positive first day. Uh, four out of our five rounds, very strong, and that's what you're looking for. Golf is five rounds, and take five players on the road and count your four best, and we got four good rounds that first round. Strong lead on, pretty good sized lead on Whitman and PLU. Uh, quite a ways behind Fox, but we expect that given that the fact that they might be the best team in the country. So we're feeling good going into round two, and round two we just did not play well at all. So uh, Bri Brianna McNally played real well. She actually tied her personal best, 74, at, on a huge stage. Um, but other than that, the other four didn't 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 have their stuff, and you know that's going to happen in golf sometimes. Um, scary part was Whitman and uh, put a huge push on us and actually took the lead on us halfway through the middle of the second day. Um, you know, and this being a, a big tournament for us, uh, a counter, so to speak, one out of three tournaments that count for conference standings, we definitely want to beat them. And we snuck by them in the last couple couple holes. So we did finish strong, which is real positive. And we, and we talk about that, you know, it's like we didn't have our best stuff except for Brianna. Uh, everybody else was kind of trying to scratch and claw that last day, but we finished strong enough to beat Whitman by three. Um, we shot 337 the second day, which is, uh, for us, you know, we were a little bit disappointed, but, you know, we, we got by Whitman and all that to say, um, uh, two of our last two tournaments, we played very well in the first round, uh, 319 to 320, so we're showing some signs of some improvement. As a coach, how do you prepare a team for when things aren't going well? And, and you, you don't want to uh, suggest to them that things won't go well, but everyone understands there's going to be some days that are not as good as others. And how do you help them work through those struggles? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, golf's a very mental game, and you got to be mentally tough to play this sport. It's not like a basketball or a football where if you're having a tough day, coach can just say, you know, hey, let's put you on the bench, you know. We'll put somebody else in there. And it's like, no, in golf, you're, you're out there for four to five hours and you're stuck with whatever game you brought that day so you got to be mentally tough to get it done and, you know reality is we talk about making the best of what you have that day um, you know we try to enter into each round with low expectations of just the fact that we are going to do the best with what we've got that day so if you're shooting 85 maybe you can find a way to turn that into an 83 or an 82 if you're shooting uh, 78 can you turn that into a 76 so you know that's uh, that's what we're focusing on is just making the best of what we've got that day one more tournament this fall down in Walla Walla this weekend, uh, hosted by Whitman. What is it you hope for to come out of this weekend with? What is the uh, what's the um, purpose? Because we've gotten through the conference event. Uh, what does this do for us? Yeah, so this is a chance to bring everybody on our team and go play in that tournament. And you know we have eight eight gals on our team right now. A lot of time just the top five travel. Um, so to bring everybody's good, and then we're going to see you with. See what we got. It's going to be able, uh, give us a good look for who's, you know, maybe what our roster is going to look like next spring. Um, so that'll be a good chance for some other players to prove for themselves. Um, another thing is, you know, George Fox and Pomona, or excuse me, I think is it, I think Pomona Pitzer is going to be there. So those are two typically top five teams in the country. So I don't know that we'll catch them, but we're still trying to beat everybody else in the field. And so hopefully we can wrap up a, a top three finish, a third place finish. Um, I think another thing, too, is I'd love to see a couple of our players beat some of those best players in the country, some of the George Fox players and some of the, you know, Pomona Pitzer players, and you know, um, because that's going to help them in their individual rankings. And our players have significant talent, you know. <clears throat> They're as good as those gals, but uh, some of the top 50 or 100 players in the country at the D3 level, but, you know, they're, we're not as consistent yet. Um, I think the difference in golf is, can you consistently play at a high level versus can you play at that high level, um, you know, maybe every other day, so to speak. So our players are good players. Our ladies uh, work hard, but, you know, I'd like to see some of the ladies on our team beat some of the George Fox and Pomona gals. I think that would be really cool, very, very memorable for them, too.